In this channel, we have a tradition where I used to suit up for the season finale, but I'm still banned on Twitch, therefore, no suit. Let's begin today's reaction. Bang. That was a big light. Sachan! Sachan! Sachan's nearby. Sensei Sachan meeting? Okay, here's the Pope, the sus guy. I don't trust him. Maybe I'm being too harsh on him, but there was something very odd about him during the first impressions, and then him getting super curious about. He was like making it seem like all oh, the problems not that big a deal, and it's like, oh, deportation skill, what the hell? I don't know. I do not trust this guy though. これより smoking a blunt, bro. Oh, misery guy. It's looking like we got a serious episode. Of course it did. This guy has blown away Misery Guy over and over though. Like he's... Is he that good? Like he straight up got... He, the, the leader of the other evils group was like, Alright, this guy's taking too many L. Let's send in greed now. No, 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 you're getting too cocky. Yeah, the smoke. You can't see it. No, no, no. Once this disperses, misery is gonna be up. Why are you doing this to yourself, bro? This is a flag. Too arrogant. His powers are just transforming everything into a four-wheel driver, right? So like, will it work? Let's see it. No. But if it did land, right? If it actually did land, would he change? That's what I want to know. Good try. No, he just tanks everything. No, no. Yo, Sensei, do something. Sensei? <laughs> the sword shattered. Holy shit. Yo, this kid's popping off right now. His sword fucking shattered. Oh my god! A legendary sword passed down from his parents, right? It's an important sword. Misery knows. Okay. At a first glance, it looks like Misery has acknowledged the kid and said, Wow, amazing legendary sword. You will be something. It'd be foolish to just get rid of you right now. So until next time, I'll leave. That's the first in interpretation. But to me, this kid, this guy's a fucking fraud, bro. This guy just got bodied by like a 10 year old kid. His fucking fancy sword got shattered in half and is now leaving with this excuse of like, uh, see you next time, kid. You'll be stronger next time, right? Bye. Fraud. You did it. Nier was a man, bro. That was the coolest scene Nier had. The sword is OP. And Sensei just gets bailed out again. Like, Sensei straight up just always doesn't do shit. Shit just like solves around him. Right? He just sat there just smoking the entire time and just smiling like, yup, all according to plan. Easy. <laughs> Party time now? 
、にはかなわないな。<laughs> まあ、でも、いろいろあったが。Someone said in the last video, you know how he memed about how, okay, the sisters were reunited, they resolved their problems and were sent back home. But what about the dad, right? Someone said apparently the dad just like offed himself. And I'm like, okay. Or it's, the dad's basically just gone. So the sister, what, I wonder what kind of, maybe life insurance, right? Fuck it, my head cannon, dad's gone, his life insurance kicked in, and now the sisters can live happily ever after. Sure, why not? I don't know what it is. That's what the system is. Exactly right, the Pope, bro. He seemingly just like invites only the truly depressed and shitty people and people without hope, right? Just like people down in their luck, they give him stupid OP powers, and then what's gonna happen? It's like a terrible system. No wonder everyone with the other worlders here in this shit is trash. Why is he specifically doing that? I don't know. Does he have a contract with people of Earth to just get rid of the shitty people and for them to just like. But then, why, at the cost of his own people here, he lets the other world just roam around? Maybe that was never his intentions, but I think that there's something odd going on with that guy. He is not to be trusted. <laughs> Sachan. Your powers. Sachan sensei reunion tonight? He just casually walks into the fortress. No security. Easy. Alright, Melos, the future shot. Melos is gonna get his girl today. Let's go. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, a flower! Damn. Sometimes your efforts are never rewarded, no matter how much you chase the one you love. Now, this, si this line is referring to Melos right now, but I'm wondering, like, what the relationship between Satchan and Sensei was, right? Because it's kind of unclear. Were they mutually in love with each other? Was it one-sided love? Um, I don't know. Satchan! He's just humming! Yo, Sensei, that's her! Sensei! Double suicide, red ring. Here we go. Here we go. I've never seen Sensei make this face. Sachan. That's her eyes. Yeah. This is such an unnerving soundtrack. <laughs> Wait, wait. There's so much I want to tell you, but before that, let's kill ourselves. And how the hell are we gonna tell each other after that? No, Satchan doesn't want to. <gasps> Rejected. Changed. Has he? <laughs> he's not as depressed anymore. Yeah, he's had. I mean. In the beginning, he was super depressed, right, and just doing nothing. But as we start to journey, and he got to, you know, write down in his notebook of all the different, you know, tragic stories, he's getting more excited. So now there's like more light in his eye. The suicide Riz has just been revoked. Our suicide Riz has worked out quite often in this show in the earlier episodes. But Satan is straight up like. Nah, you're not suicidal enough. You're not depressed enough. Where's the Riz I used to know? Uh-oh, uh-oh. So you've been cheating on me, Sensei. This is better. It's better that Sensei has something better than death to chase after. I don't need Sachan. She's just too depressing and emo. What? 
we need to like lose everything that we have, then you'll take us back, Sachan, so that we can end ourselves together. I mean, Sensei's goals is pretty much to end himself. So, I don't know. This feels wrong, though. The name. Poor Sensei, man. But like what? If Sensei were to like... Well, she said she's happy for him. That she finally found like, you know, something's better than death. But at the same time, Satsang can no longer be with Sensei because it's not the Sensei she used to. Does that mean that we should just turn back to just like this empty husk with nothing going on so that Satsang will accept us? No. I feel like we should move on. I feel like Sensei needs to move on from Satsang. Did this guy make the... Our, uh, coffin car? Is that literally Kaijin? Yo. Is that Kaijin from Tensura? If that is actually Kaijin, that's so funny. That this voice actor has now been typecasted as to be like the Isekai Dwarf character. The Isekai Dwarf Blacksmith voice actor. <laughs> that's what his voice actor is the best at. Like, Dio's voice actor, right? Villains, right? <laughs> Villains are like <laughs> those kind of people. <laughs> this guy is like, yeah, you're gonna be the Isekai Dwarf Blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, fuck Sachan, move on. That's right, they're infinite. <laughs> it's just this loop. The legendary sword. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this sword? Oh. Damn. But if you do, you can't die with Sachan! <laughs> Sensei is fucking going through it, bro. Goodbye, Sensei. What are you doing? You're just gonna go off by yourself and... I don't know, something bad's gonna happen? <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Bye, Mr. Pink Pompadour. It's no youth so na kiminga. Zibun resoja. Is it happy because of the sword? Satan's back. How far was the walk? So creepy how she just walks around, just absent mind, just humming this theme, but she's happy mood too. Happy that Sensei is no longer the Sensei that she knows? She'd be happy about that? Maybe Sachan always wanted Sensei to be happy. And like we have the wrong perception of what they're supposed to be. I don't know. Because I still don't really understand Sachan Sensei's relationship. Of like, was it simply admiration from one side to the other? Did they love each other and it was explicitly shared when he was super depressed? But if she's happy about this, that means that she's happy that Sensei is moving on. I love how they're fucking hooded, bro. That's so troll. Bro, because like, we already know these two, right? And we know this guy. This is, you know, gluttony and greed gone. But the remaining, they're freaking gonna hood them? Come on, now. True. Oh, I wonder if you represent Sloth Man, Taida. Deport. Are you that important? Pride, alright, so 
The leader is sloth, and Satsan is pride. We're lost. Hero's last dog. When they see the hero, are you talking about the current other worlders that slayed the Dark Lord? Or is this like a folklore from the past, ancient times? <laughs> Sensei just casually just, you know, vandalizing important landmark tourist attractions. <laughs> now... This isn't supposed to be Nier's dad or something, right? I'm just looking at the sword. Does it look like Nier's sword? I don't really think so. Orange. Fairy Queen. Oh, is it gonna be a mill? It better not be a lolly. ボケんしゃよ。何時も待た。だが、この先に待ち受ける試練を乗り越えることはできる。頭の中に話しかけないでくれ。まずは力の<笑><笑><笑><笑> Yo, this thing is actually a fucking armored tank, bro. Holy shit, it actually flipped him. It's just brute force. Everything is a test of strength right now. Intelligence, my fucking ass. I wonder if the hero is Nier's dad, man. You think it could be possible? これまで戦を超えて妖精王の加護を授かり、魔王城へと渡ったのは勇者様。その男もすぐ戻ってくんべ。でも万が一試練を突破してしまったら。You <笑> already did. Very queen? Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, MILF! <laughs> Not just any MILF, it's a gigantic MILF. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Now this is what I'm fucking talking about. Okay, second human to visit this place though. Because the hero was an otherworlder, right? That passed the trials. He <laughs> just sits on her titties, bro. She's so big. <laughs> oh shit, it fell into her cleavage. I gotta go reach down to her cleavage now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't seem to mind. Oberis. Ah, not Oberon. We got an Oberi. Okay. What if I say no? The bad answer is probably absolute power. The good answer is trust in others, power, friendship, bullshit, right? Neither. Option C. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Option C. The one I trusted left me, so now I really want to die. Bro is going through it. He got dumped. He is emo right now. Just listen to Linkin Park. Listen to at the in the end, nothing ever it, it never mattered or some shit. Just lay on her titty. Yeah, leave me alone. 
サッチャンという運命の人を失った今世界平和なんて落ちるものは落ちよ We gotta get Sensei back into Somehow it has to relate back to Satchan and having a second chance. Maybe if we explain to him that if you save this world by defeating the other worlders that took over the Demon Lord's castle, you can get Satchan back. And then you can like package that and Sensei will be like, okay, I got a second shot. Everything. Yes, yes. I mean, did you guys see the trials? What do you mean you were wrong about this man? Like, did you not see the fucking trials where he just brute force just ran his coughing car over the three tests? He's the most fraudulent person right now, and you still think he's the chosen one? Priest. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, not the priest. Sorry, sorry. It's the, uh, the Gamba episode, right? The, 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 Spirit of the World Tree, yeah, yeah, she got like thrown rocks at her and that was like a sad episode. That was a great episode though. Cause he's great? Blessing? Do we get something else? A little impermanent painkiller shit? Drugs? I don't know. That's it, right? Is there anything else she gave us? Cause like, yeah, the infinite pills are just like a meme, but like... That's it? You want some? You want some too? Okay, let's go. 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 Look at the dragon. Look at the sword, Kabbard, okay? Look at the sword. Look at the design of the scabbard. 3 3 and this. We're at 1809 right now. Let's go back to the sword here. Oh yeah, it's the same one. Yep, yep, it's the same one. The sheath, it's, it's his dad. It's his dad. The statue was a bit ambiguous, but now it's pretty much confirmed that his dad was indeed the hero. This is the heroic sword. It's pretty much just confirmed now. Mm. I still don't trust this guy. I'm being specious, I'm being racist, I know, I don't trust this guy, and this guy just straight up reminds me of Potimas from Kumo Deska, man, I don't trust this guy, the Pope, either. We don't need a righteous person, then. I mean, if you think about it, Eshe's episode, right? What was that? It was all about like how righteousness, good and evil, it's not just black and white, right? It's not so simple as just labeling one side good and bad. It's just like within the hearts of these seemingly good people, they were also corrupted when the quote unquote bad people left, right? And that was the whole lesson. And that's why the shiny god in the armor was like, oh my god, you were right. I thought that I was doing the right thing. So motherfuckers righteousness, was their downfall, but Sensei knows that, he sees beyond that, as she chose him, what Oberus is saying is now tying into that. So she has powers to peek into his memories and bait him with a lie? Is this actually gonna happen? Is this a prophecy? Or are you just trying to figure out what makes him tick and trying to bait him into, you know, joining your cause? Okay. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> oh? And then she'll come to help. Alright. Damn, bro. Sensei at the end of the day did not back down to the fairy queen. She just called him impudent because he called her a giant lady at the end of the day, which is pretty disrespectful if you think about who she is, but she seemed to be entertained by that. And she did say no longer we need righteous people, right? So it's like, alright. Here's this like, you know, charm that's gonna help you. So if we blow on this. I wonder how many time usage there are. Is she herself gonna show up or is Elulu and them gonna show up? I don't know, but we gotta get out a free jail card. Elulu, Elulu. 
I love how Karane's voice actor from like uh, 100 Girlfriends. <laughs> she just also just typecasted into these Sundere roles, bro. So we have Kaijin's voice actor, Isekai Dwarves, Karane just, just Sundere, right? Dio voice actor, just peak villain. <laughs>何を取り、振られちゃった先生は今後も旅を続ける気はあるのかな。それは確かに。これで終わりだなんて。オッケー。私だって先生。やったね。イズバック。What <笑> <laughs> the hero's just dying now. First, it was the hero like fighting against the monster, right? Then Sensei just fucking hit the thing that the hero's running away from the monster. And now, the hero is being bitten and eaten by the monster. Oh no. You can use it now? I thought we were gonna save this shit. Still, like the fucking like, super end game when we really need it. Right now, bro. Yeah. Yo. Can you? It's so Lulu. I feel like uh, the Fairy Queen and Edudu both realized that Sololu is a bit of a bitch, right? <laughs> it's way too soon soon. So you're getting corrected now. Go fucking help Sensei. I don't know fairy magic. Wait, she just uses super fairy strength to pull it back up? I thought she used magic to like move shit around. Oh, the ending, guys. What's the opening, but you know, it's the ending. I don't trust them. Sloth. Pride. Daughter. Yo, give us a lift. Yo, Valdaria just like. She's always around us, huh? Yo, give us a lift. What the hell? They're dragging the fucking cart right now in the sand. I guess it's not even operating anymore. They broke it, so it's no longer fucking running. Wah, wah. Yo, call, call Solulu. Solulu should be fucking pulling this thing too. Come on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, the journey does not look fucking good if you look at the vast amount of desert that's left to pull this fucking coffin. But hey, that will do it for Isekai Shikaku. A round of applause, man. A round of applause for an Isekai show in a season of pretty much no Isekais and just a bunch of rom com, right? This show stood out. Now, there was no real competition with other isekais, right? There's obviously some isekais like Tensor is still airing, but, you know, compared to a season of anime where usually Karaka pumps out like 30 of these motherfuckers, like Isekai Shikaku stood on along by itself mostly, but I think it did pretty well. I think that, like, obviously there's no season 2 announcement just yet, but I'm not even sure how well this really performed in terms of, like, DVD sales and all the other metrics that's actually important to warrant a second season, but I thought that this production value was pretty fucking good. The soundtracks, Kenichi to Suehiro, you know, it's the same guy that does ReZero, Eminence and Shadow. We can hear the same melodies here and there, and I think soundtrack is one of the most important things to elicit such a emotional response to get you engaged to the show. He was fantastic. This show, in the beginning, I thought was just some random comedy gag. Then it started to get a little bit more serious with like, you know, the plot of otherworlders being evil and sensei having deportation powers. It was a fantastic watch. I'm gonna give this a minimum 7.5 out of 10. 
I think any anime in the realm of seven is pretty goddamn good. And this show was fantastic. I don't think it was peak. I don't think it was mid. I'm going to give it minimum 7.5 out of 10 where you can scale that up. Maybe it could be 8 point something if you, you know, argue about this shit long enough. But it was a fantastic anime. I'm glad I watched it. And if there's a season two, I will be there to cover it. And that's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.